it, a maimer that's, uh, I'm not going to say an easy maimer, a gishmaka maimer. From the first maimotum that the Rebbe said, the acid like maimer, really it's about Swedish oimish, it's about Swedish oimer. So the Gemara says that there was a debate always going on between the Tzdukim and the Prushim. Now, in, in general, you have this Tzdukim by Susim, but there's the Ovas that Nosson says that they were basically two students of Rabbi Avantignus Yisoychoi, and then he said, You should not be like servants that are waiting to get a reward. They said, Oh, no reward? No reward. No punishment, no tchisamesim, no, 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 nothing. They went out and they made their own, their own religion. Basically, they said that we don't have to take any of the tradition. We're going to read the Torah and we're going to explain the Torah the way we understand it. So the Mela is a and a big churban because uh, what they did was that they they said they said I put the keys on the little couch right when you put come into the door. Sorry. So, Ooh, didn't you tell us the whole story that you went to Ed's show and you went to the... This was uh, the Shemroin. Oh, that's that. The uh, Baisusim a little different. Uh, the Baisusim... Uh, but the, a, lot, a lot of these groups were ended Baisusim up like... Baisusim or Patrosim? Baisusim. Baisusim. A lot of these groups ended up like similar... Uh, but uh, Baisusim had... Yeah, Baisusim had this thing where they read Mamish literal to the, uh, to the extent that you can laugh. I mean, they said ayin tachas ayin means an eye for an eye. Okay, really ayin tachas ayin. Then when the Torah says that uh, the man that complains that his wife is not a besula, so it says a porosus asimla. They take off the the the. So chazal say it means that the bezin should be very deliberate. Porosus asimla means that they should just like a cloth when you exam, you take it and you ex- investigate the edim very thoroughly. They read it literally. That they take the girl, they take off her skirt, and they, they check if there's a psulim. And so on, it went until it came to this thing with the Gemara says in Menachis, that they said, it means tomorrow, the day, a Sunday, has to be on a Sunday. That Sviris Oymas always has to be on a Sunday. We have Mordekh that we learned last year about this. Because there is really a medrash that has this concept that uh, when Svidus Oymet is like this year, which is Memochir Sashavas, that that's a special year. It's called Tamimis. Uh, the truth is, it works out very nicely. If you, if first of all, when you read the Svidus like this year, when you uh, say the Svidus Oymet, besides being easy to remember, so if you, as long as you know which week you're on, Motzah Shabbos, so you're saying it's uh, okay. So it's. Uh, Yeshavu uh, Echad. So what is it tomorrow Sunday? Oh, V'yom Echad Lo As long as you know which week you're in, you're good. But not only that, for the Svidus, it also works out very nicely. Sunday is, represents Chesed, Monday Gvura, and Tuesday Tiferes, and that. So Sunday is saying Chesed, Chesed, and Monday is Gvura, and Tuesday. It works out very neat. But they said that always Svidus Oymer works that way. Because the Pasuk says, as far as the Mokhir is a Shabbos. And the Chazal. Uh, had a debate and they proved it that it wasn't true. But Chassidus asked, so why did the Torah really say, Svartam Lachem Mochas Shabbos? Chazal, yeah, Chazal say, uh, you know, write it this way, and if Moshe is a okay, listen. If someone wants to be foolish, I'll make a mistake if they don't want to accept the or- oral tradition. But why did the Torah have to say it this way? Just say, Svartam Lachem Mochas Pesach, from the next day of the Chag Pesach, you should start counting. And then it'll be clear, and the tzdukim, the baisusim, will never make a mistake. Why does the Torah have to say svaratim lechem mochres shabbos? And the baisusim are going to say mochres shabbos means you always start counting on a matzah shabbos. Like incidentally, we are doing this year and last year. And then there'll be a whole debate and a homachloikis. And the basic answer in the Rebbe's Maimah today is going to be that api chesedus. What is shabbos? It's api nigla. What is shabbos? Shabbos is the most hol- the holiest day in the week. What does it mean? Mochir is a Shabbos. Mochir is a Shabbos means bigger than Shabbos. Bigger. Mochir is a Shabbos. Shabbos is the seventh day in the week. It's the most holy day, but it's for a day in the week. Mochir is a Shabbos means it's the biggest kedusha possible. In order for a yid to do the avoda of counting Svidas Oimer, the yid has to have the koyach of this Mochir is a Shabbos. Why? 
because we're not just counting days. We're counting, but we're also Sfaratim Lachem Apichsidus means to shine, to polish. Usfaratim, you have to polish the diamond. And that's the emesis that the minute Kal Yisrael is that when we count the Svida, that every week we dedicate to one of the Midas. And every night we say that we're purifying one Midas. The first week we say we're dedicating to purifying Midas HaChesed. And Sunday we're purifying Chesed, Sheba Chesed, and Gvura. We're going through all our Midas. Even if we're not coming through specifically and we don't know the Pshat in every Midas, because we're not big masculine in, the, in, in this, but we know that this is the time to work on our Midas. And every week we're dedicating to another Midas. And every day we're dedicating to another detail in the Mida. The Koyach for this is Memochilis HaShabbos. That's why the Torah says Memochilis HaShabbos. Because that's really where the Koyach comes from. It's a special Koyach. And, and the Maimah will go into this whole thing that, uh, of why it's so powerful and so difficult and we need the special Koyach, Elyon, to be able to do the Mitzvah Sri Yisayimah. The point of the Pasuk is like this. The Mitzvah is That is a Mitzvah of counting and the Mitzvah bringing the Oymer. The B'tchila Mitzvah Sabos Oymer. The first was the Mitzvah of bringing the Oymer. And then they started counting the Oymer. Mitzvah Lamimne Yoymer. Mitzvah Lamimne Shavu. The Gemara says there's two parts of the Mitzvah counting the days and counting the week. Why does it possible to say Mochres Shabbos? And the Bible will explain all the details here that we're saying Api Nigla, Api Chsidis. But he starts off with the question why does the Torah have to say Mochres Shabbos? That I can't want to say Mochres Pesach. I'm going to do no kata kosa, but Lashem Mochres Shabbos. But Frachet's duk him to, the Omru Shakavon, him and Mochres Shabbos Breshes, the Chachem is Rolla Trichmus Vakechim, and Lavi Rais, Shakavon is a Kosova, the Mochres Pesach, the Hoyer Hoyer Lift of the Fairish, and Mochres Pesach, the Mochres Shabbos. Why couldn't the Toyota say it straight? Say count, the Mochres Pesach. Why does the Toyota have to say it like this, the Mochres Shabbos? And the and the the Messoida, the tradition will tell us that it means. The Memochres of Pesach, and then there will be a debate between the Baisusim and the Tzdukim and the Prushim. We have to understand what does it mean in Avodah Hashem to count the Omer. The Nisra Mishnah, Kola Menachos, Boy Menachitim. Vezu Minas Oidim. Usually, when we brought Menachos, Menachos, that has to be brought from the best type of wheat. There's five types of wheat. What's the best wheat? Uh, to talk today to people that are health conscious, they might not agree. But Chazal say that the best wheat of the five wheat is the regular wheat. And then the uh, next one is spelt, and after that goes uh, barley, and then goes oats, and then goes, uh, then goes rye, and then goes oats. But the most choshev is chita. So when uh, you bring a menach, you have to bring it to best, you have to bring the Ebishter. The Menacha of Chita. There's an exception, two things in the base of Mikdash for the Soita and also the carbon that was brought the second day of Pesach that precedes the counting of the Oymer. What's the reason? So the Mishnah says, The Mishnah says that a Soita, well, what is she doing? Why is she why is she now in the base of Mikdash? Because she's she was hanging out with men, not her husband. And that's a Maisa Behema. That's a Behema, not a human being. Should be shouldn't act that way. So therefore, because she's acting like a behema, her carbon is a behema. A behema eats barley. Today in America, barley, uh, corn, other but barley is the in the old days, that was the Michael Behema. Barley was the main thing that they give to a behema. So if that's the reason that Mishnah says, so why is it that the, the carbon seaboard that Claudius Yisrael brings, which is unbelievably important, the whole concept of Chodosh is that you're not allowed to eat the new grain until the base of Mikdash, they, they bring the new grain to the offering to the Ebishter. And what was that new grain that was brought? Not Chita, it was brought Sa'ira, Mincha Sa'irim. Why? Why Sa'irim? Because the whole thing is to purify the Midas. And what's the difference between the brain and the heart? Is the brain is reflective and the heart is impulsive. The Nefesh is more Nizgal than the brain. That's why Nefesh is more reflective. And the Nefesh is impulsive. 
So the avoid of the counting the 49 the, the steps of Sfirah Soimit is to purify the 49 midas of the Nefesh of Bahamas. That's why the Minik Chabad is to learn Meseches Soita. The Meseches Soita was a lucky Mesech, that's 49 daf. So uh, the fact that Ebe Meseches Shavuos is also Lachoyra, just as lucky, that it has 49 daf. So if you want to do a daf per day from the days of counting the Omer, why don't you do Meseches Shavuos, or one year Meseches Soita and one year Meseches Shavuos? Why every year? Shavuos, again, the Chag Shavuos. Again, there's no connection, but it sounds good. <laughs> but uh, but better, but better, but what soita? But Bemis is, if you understand the Inyan Apichsidus of the whole thing of counting the Omer, there's the Avodas. There's three steps. There's Avodas Shem of Nissan, Eir, Sivan, and we'll get into this. And Nissan is the Eibishter pulls a yid out of his golus. Here it is the Yid's Avodah Hashem to purify his Midas. The whole, the and and Mamela, that's the whole month, has the Mitzvah Sviris Oimer. And because this this is the union of, of Behema, so therefore, just like by Asaita, the Korban is Michael Behema, the same thing here, whereas now we start, we start to do the Avodah to purify the Behema, therefore is we bring it, is, a carbon from the Sodom. Is there a point that this is? Uh, in those days are the amount of meters that the uh, Nefesh of the Hamas has. Yeah, that Nefesh of the Hamas is 49, is seven, 7 times 7, that's 49. So we want to purify all the meters of Nefesh of the Hamas. This, this, is coming, this is coming from a, the, what way do you understand the Kalkan? I'm sorry, I'm trying because to understand. Every meter, because a Nefesh of the is Be'iker, is Nesgala in the Moyach, which is Chochem Ben Adas. Nefesh of the Hamas is Be'iker, Nesgala in the Midas, which is Chesed, Gura, Tiferes, Netzachoy, Yisoyed, Malchus. That's where the main thing where you see the Nefesh Bahamas. And 7 times 7 is 49. In other words, the first week, like this year, we spent on purifying Chesed in the second week, Gura. And this week, we're spending purifying the mid of Netzach. When when the Eden went out of Mitzrayim, there was a special revelation, and every year it happens again to every Jew. They were not prepared. They didn't deserve, but it was a Yisraelis from the Eibishter, even though they didn't deserve. They gave them this Koyach to do their own Avoidah. Through that, there was eventually to get the Gilead Man Torah. Turn the page. There's this posse. So, grammatically, Shirashim uh, is very important. Shirashim is called Kodesh Kadoshim, and it's all about the relationship of the Eid and the Ebishter. And uh, just uh, when you read it, you see immediately that it's. Incongruity of the posik. Mashcheni mi is singular. Narutza is plural. Nashcheni means you pull. Narutza means I run. And and what's the difference between Mashcheni and Narutza? It's a different thing. Pulling pulling and running is it's, it's not exactly the same thing. So what what's going on in the posik? So Chassid says that Mashcheni is the avodas Hashem of Chedesh Nisn. Acherech Narutza is the avodas Hashem of Chedesh Ir. Heviani Hamalachadora with the avodas Hashem of Chodesh Sivan. Mashchein is singular. We say to the Ebishta, pull us, even if I'm not deserving and I'm not prepared for that Hisaurus, the Ebishta should pull us. The Ebishta should pull us. There is a concept in Allah of Kinya Mashiach. You don't have to change the, this thing, you just have to take it from here and put it here. That's Kinya Mashiach. The Ebishta should pull the Yid and coin it in a way of Mashiach. Then the Eden have, once the Ebishter ready does it for them, so the, now the Yid Hashem has the Yid has to do. The Yid says, Rebbe please, Mashcheni, pull. Afterwards, Acharecha Norutza, we will run Here. plural. Why plural? Not only because Klal Yisrael, also because every Yid is two parts to Yid. The, every Yid has the constant struggle, as explained in Tanya, between Nefesh Elkis and Nefesh Mahamis. But the whole idea of the uh, Svidas Oymet is to get the Nefesh of Bahamas on board. Mm-hmm. So, Narutza, we will both run. The Nefesh Mishnei Yitzarecha, the Nefesh Elikis, and the Nefesh of Bahamas are going to run together. 
And then this Chodesh Sivan is Vyana and Melachadorov that we go into the special room with Abishter, which is a special Yichud through Torah. The Mashchini Koyal Gitzis Matzayim, Shemad Rechasus Leil, Mashchini Shenigdalim, Melach Malchem Lochem, the Israel Matzadatsum, and Mishkoim, and Mem Tashara Tumma, the Eden were sinking in the 49 gates of Tumma. Elo Shenigdalim, the Abishter revealed himself. Shade Agilu, Memaila, Niglu, and Matzov, Zo Gam, Mashkosu, Mashchini Loshen Yochid. That's why it says Mashchini singular. This thing, who gets moved when there's a godly revelation? Now, Nefesh Bahamas doesn't care. The Nefesh Lakis gets excited when there's a revelation. Shenak Nefesh Lakis, Margisha as Gilu Malamaila, all the Nefesh Lakis feels this revelation. Nefesh Bahamas, Nesheriz Vemamada Vematsova. Nefesh Bahamas doesn't get moved. If the Yid works with his Nefesh Bahamas, and explains to Nefesh Bahamas the beauty of Elokus, Nefesh Bahamas might be turned around. But just by seeing a Gil Elokus, Nefesh Bahamas doesn't move. It says that the Jews ran out of Mitzrayim. The Al-Tareb explains in Tanya. Why did they run out of Mitzrayim? If they said to Paroi, we're not going to run. We're going to walk slowly, not 90 miles an hour, not five miles per hour. We're walking. We're we're crawling out of its time. So, a party was desperate. They should leave. Mm-hmm. Why were they? Why was it important for them to run? A week later, it turns out he had a change of heart. But right now, he was begging them to leave, and they didn't leave right away. They said, "We can't. Uh, we can't go out in the morning. In the morning, we can't go till the afternoon. The afternoon, okay. The eventually, we can go." So finally, when they start going, after so many hours of negotiations, he's begging them to leave. They start running. <laughs> they wait to Chatzoy Sayoim, and they start running. Now, al says it's only to do with one thing, because of Avodah Hashem. Because their nefesh, Shalakis, was excited to run after the Abishtad into the desert. The nefesh of Bahamas was not excited. So the only way to get the Nefesh of Bahamas involved is to run. But Pari had no choice at that point. The evil that was by the Eden was strong. Nefesh of Bahamas was strong. The Yitzhahorah was strong. The revelation only moved the Nefesh Lakis, Meshenka Nefesh Bahamas, Nishir Batokva, Malacheno, Yitzhak Lis, Inya, Hachipozen, Vabricha. Therefore, there was a, there was everything was Hachipozen. Omnum, Acher, I give it to you, Mitzrayim, 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 Malamata, Lamaila, Omnum. Now, Shazer Kodal has Birur, Nefesh Bahamas. Now, those the counting of 49 days to purify the Midas and to purify the Nefesh Bahamas itself. So, Mashakos of Acherech, Narutza, Narutza, Pira, Sharitza. Mashcheni means that the one that's on top is dragging and pulling the one from the bottom. Narutza means the one that's in the bottom is running to go up. That's why it's running. Why is the Dafka running? It's because it's a very big difference how the Nefesh Bahamas lives and how the Nefesh Lakis. Never goes slowly, he runs. Either he's not interested in godliness, or he's running for it. This has an effect on the Nefeshalakis. The Nefeshalakis does not have Merutza. You never see. Uh, a little child is running, right? So, Nefesh Bahamas is very impulsive. He's always running. If he, something is exciting and something is full of taiva, Nefesh Bahamas is running. Nefesh Lakis, when it's the time to do the right thing. When the Rebbe used to start off a bring they didn't know him out. The guys but that's that's run. why we need to have Nefesh Bahamas. <laughs> Nefesh Lakis doesn't run so fast. Yeah. It's like there's a story with one of the Elter Echsidim that uh, I think it was in a Bill No, oh, there's a long story. He had he had all his, he was a he was a tzaddik at the, on his own right, and uh, a lot of Gedoli Yisrael went to get broches from him. Story with him in the Beis Halevi. He was 
Someone said they called him my half chosid because the other half of him was a rebbe. Someone said they used to give him uh, a request always to travel here and there. He should go to these places instead of someone said they can give brachas. People can give So you can imagine that Reb Hillel was a tzaddik uh, and it was, a, it was uh, he was machabim and he swore him. Anyway, Reb Hillel, he had they had this thing. He he didn't want to go on the high. There was uh, one of the Russian uh, czars who built these roads. These, but he was a murder the kasonius at all. He never wanted to ro- ride on any of those roads because he hated this. Uh, what was it, Nikolai? Huh? One of them. Mm-hmm. So he hated. The, uh, he was a sonius at all, and he was. Uh, he, uh, he does. He's going to try. So he, any time he traveled, he traveled the back roads. He never traveled on the big roads that were paved by this sonius at all. Another problem with him was that uh, that. Uh, <laughs> His davening was, so he didn't know how to do, you know, someone said that he davens an 8 o'clock minion. They finish at 8 o'clock. It doesn't matter when they start. The Bill didn't know that, uh, how to do the 8 o'clock minion. The Bill used to daven for many, many hours. So he came, well, it was once that he asked, uh, there, was, there was someone that was going to Lubavitch, someone said, can I get a ride with you? And I'll pay for it. The Bill, <laughs> I'm not going with you. <laughs> it's like a bet in Rachman, but... Uh, he was a t- 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 was a big tzaddik, but this guy was a balagoli. He said, he said, first of all, you don't go, you don't let me go on the regular roads, and then to the bit davent. I want to come to the tzimach tzaddik. I have a bracha to ask. I want to get there before Shabbos. I'm never going to get there in time. So the Hill said, don't worry. Okay. there. This time, taki, you have to go on the side roads, but the davening, I'll be very careful. Mm-hmm. They got to one town close to Lubavitch. It was Friday morning in the balagoli. If the Bilal does a shorter davening, we'll make it Boida Yem Godel to Lubavitch. The problem was that the Bilal got into an unbelievable Islavus and he ended up davening for a couple of hours. By the time he finished davening, was, was not, even though we're close to Lubavitch, he couldn't make it there in time for Shabbos. So the Balagola was really upset at him. So we, we, we spoke about something. So the Bilal said, Let me ask you something. I want to ask you something. It was a soich. Soicha is going with you because he's going to Germany, he's going to Leipzig, he's going to, that was the big destination those days. Ayyidid, that's where people used to come for a big fear, and that's where cameras happened. That's where the Yidin used to come for. The Sochrim used to stay there for a few weeks, and they used to do all the business, used to go back, and they used to sit in base Madrash the rest of the year. That's when they did their business. Okay. The Takonis on the Yidin, okay. So, come on, Yidagvir, and he's coming with, let me ask you something, he's traveling with you. And Mamish, very close to the Yerid in Leipzig, a little a little earlier in a town, he meets another merchant, and they have an unbelievable deal to make, and it'll benefit both of them. Do you think that they're going to say, you know what? Listen, we want to be first to be at the fear. A deal's a deal. What's? Why are we going to the fear to do business? We just bumped into each other here, so. Didn't we do a better deal? We did a better deal here. Why are we going to the Rebbe? We're going to the Rebbe to have Avas Hashem and Yiddish Hashem. We're going to the Rebbe to teach us how to daven. So daven tzuch yishmak So why do we have to run? <laughs> so, back to back to the Maimir. There is Avoida of the Nefesh HaLakis and Nefesh Nefesh HaBahamas. Nefesh HaLakis, just the whole Echelach of an intellectual person is he's not running, he's not jumping. But uh, an impulsive person, that's Tachtavort, he's impulsive, right? The Nefesh HaBahamas, like in Be'ikri, is the Chmidis, which is impulsive. So, but there's a mile in, in, in impulsivity. There's a mile in it. There's a mile, there's certain miles in it. As they say in Yiddish, Allah ba'enim and ito ba'kenim. There is no milas by everyone. Nefesh al-Kis has his mile, Nefesh al-Bahamas has his mile. <laughs> so the, my, the thing is to combine when acharech on the that there is a mile that now the Nefesh al is running with the Nefesh al-Bahamas. Nefesh al doesn't run. That's the chesor of Nefesh al He <laughs> understands that this is Godless Haboyde, and this is Gur, and this is Gewaldig. But he's not impulsive. He doesn't run. He doesn't. He never runs. Mm-hmm. He's always gelassen. He's always cool and calculated. 
But the Nefesh Bahamas, when but he ignores the Nefesh Bahamas. Okay, he doesn't want to listen to the Nefesh Bahamas. But now that he turned the Nefesh Bahamas to be his ally, Nefesh Bahamas sees the beauty in Alakus. So he is. So now the Nefesh Bahamas is pulling the Nefesh Alakis to run towards Alakus. So that's what that's that's a difference of a Mashcheni and Mashcheni is all Nefesh Alakis. So the Eibushter has to pull it because Nefesh Alakis it, it, it doesn't run. But the Milo when you get the Nefesh Bahamas, bit like the Gemara says, and then the Baruch is Bishnei B'chol Avovcha plural Bishnei Yitzor Echo B'yitzah Toy B'yitzah Hora that now there's a Merutz. Nefesh Alakis Metzad Atzma Ein Ba Inyan Merutz. The Mshicha Shel Alakus and the Magbal Nefesh Alakis is limited. But like the Nefesh Bahamas, no is about to a Sefes Oir. Shenasa ba inyan amarutza lamaylam and did the magbala. Was inyan amarutza lashon rabim. Shenefesh abahamis pehlas shagam nefesh lokis tiy ba'ifin the marutza lamakuz. That nefesh abahamis has a good effect. It's a counterintuitive. Nefesh abahamis is no, but nefesh abahamis has something good to offer to nefesh lokis. B'cholos nizah avoda dacherech and marutza b'zman shebein yitzis mitzrayim lamatan toira. Va'achek kachek dey avoda zu boy malagila the matan toira have yana malachadorav. This this is the bridge between Pesach. And Shavuos, this avoid of Acherech and Arutza, which is a, not an easy avoid, easier said than done. Halavai, every one of us is hoping that instead of fighting with the Nefesh Bahamas, who Nefesh Bahamas doesn't let the Nefesh Lakis give a, any move without pulling it downwards, the Faket, the Nefesh Bahamas should be pulling us. So that's a big avoid. Turn the page. There's two parts of purifying the Nefesh Bahamas. The easier part and the harder part. Birur hamoich in the nefesh of Bahamas to purify the understanding in the nefesh of Bahamas. Birur hamidas the nefesh of Bahamas to talk to the moich in the nefesh of Bahamas is not so hard. To change the midas in the nefesh of Bahamas is hard. The basin yonam elu heim shnei yonam da krova saimer svidas saimer. These are the two parts of the korban saimer and the svidas saimer. The korban oimer is to re, to remake the moyach of the nefesh bahamas. The shvirus oimer is to rebuild the midos of the nefesh bahamas. Then you're not kravas oimer who built the moyach of the nefesh bahamas. Then it's a sham sham enoch ba men asoyin alias Michael ba hema kanal shuzam mishum enyan a built the nefesh bahamas. The korban comes korban oimer from the soyim. It has to do with nefesh bahamas. That's it's Michael ba hema. That's why the korb mincha comes from dogam. The soydim may mean dogam. You know, dogam moira el moichin. Come move my manadal in at the inik yedei likin haba at shiitim tam dogam. Chazal say a child will never learn how to speak until they eat a little bit of grain. That's what Chazal say, and that's uh, we were talking about this in Pesach by the fabrengen of Achin Shor Pesach. That's why Chazal says. That uh, by eating matzah you get michla de meimnusa. A person gets a muna. What's the connection of a muna and eating matzah? Because the Gemara says that the person doesn't, the uh, child does not recognize his father until he eats grain. He can't just start talking and have a kora and say a father or abba, papa, until he eats grain. That's what the Gemara says. A ye doesn't know avinu shebashemayim until he eats matzah. When he eats matzah, then he gets a hakora and avinu shebashemayim. How does it happen? Dafke does great. As I the Ebishter makes that that's the Matzias that when I eat he eats matzah, so as we know, the, the Rebbe used to give matzah even yeah, in the middle yeah, of the year. Yeah. There was the Rebbe used to save for matzah, yeah. and there was nisim v'niflos, and these there are stories going still back to the days of the Alter Rebbe. The Alter Rebbe used to give his charoses and his matzah. There was a doctor, a psafrum ayid, and he used to give it to his patients, and there were pili plos. And Adam, we see, but the Rebbe, we on us off stories where the Rebbe gave yid and matzah, and they had pili ploim from the matzah. Because uh, the, 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 the I, I don't know if I mentioned this, there was people that were there, so I a Pella, and then one of the Fabrengans, uh, that was in Tov Shalom Advo, the Rebbe, the Rebbe took matzah, he put it in a napkin and threw it out to the crowd. And people were catching it. And the Rebbe said, Michla de Mnusa, Michla de Asvosa, Michla de Mnusa. The most of the people, the people that caught it, it turned out later, whoever ended up catching Michla de Mnusa, they had issues with Amuna. And they were healed. And the people that caught the matzah that was the Rebbe said was that was for bringing that the Rebbe said Michla das Voso. Punk these people happened to be that were people that needed big Yeshuas. 
and uh, they were the ones that uh, got the matzah michla das vosa. We see that uh, from the tzaddik alien that they they had they kept matzah all year. From there, it's matzah from the kaira, matzah from the afikoyman, because a yid learns the who's avinish shabashamayim by eating a shtikel matzah. So uh, so now the second step after eating mechita, which is matzah, is that we want to get the nefesh of Ahamas on board. So that's the korban oimer, which is from the soirim, which is the kor- the first day we eat matzah, which is for the nefesh of Akis. And the second day we bring a korban from soirim, which is to affect the nefesh of Ahamas. The nefesh of Ahamas should know that there is a Abba, there is a father of Inish Shemayim. Even though it's moyach, but benefesh Bahamas, even the brain is connected to the heart to figure out how to get what the heart wants. The behema ikra midas. The main thing of a behema is midas to be impulsive. It takes only one day. To to talk to the moyach and nefesh shabbamis, and nefesh shabbamis, you talk to him, he starts understanding. But to change the midos, that's not an easy avoid, and it takes forty nine days. Go through all forty nine. This is not enough. Because in, when you understand something of Pisechel, you say, okay, I understand roundabout. Bechlolus is good enough. But to purify a person's midas, if you don't go into the details, you did nothing. The main avoid of Hashem is one step at a time. That's the avoid that that it, that the person is, has his own input in it. That in all the ways that he is serving Hashem, the Gemara says, There's two mitzvahs, counting the days and counting the weeks. The week, first week is Chesed, the second week is Gevura, to Tiferes, this week is Netzach. Avalinian mitzvah lamimni yoimi, the mitzvah of the days, koya al bir ko pracha bachol mida, the details in the mida. Chesed sheben netzach, gevura sheben netzach, tefere sheben netzach. The ikra mitzvah lamimni yoimi, the main mitzvah is accounting the days. Bir ra midas be protis, which is the details, the chesed sheba chesed, the hoit sheba hoit, the malchus sheba malchus. Bezei shlava adas ra ben yeruchim. There's a unique shit in a ben yeruchim, which is one of the rishonim. There is opinions in the Rishonim that even in the Golus, mitzvah sviras oimer he did raisa. The Yesh Emrim that even in the Golus, there is no mitzvah element that is born. It's a machloikus. When we do sviras oimer today, is it made a raisa or made a born? We are more on the side that it's a born. That's why we say Rachman Yachzal Lam Vezu Besamikdash Mem. Because we hold that it's not really, it's really the Rabbon and the Zmanazim. So, Machloik is Rabbam and Toysus. Okay, so you heard this way or that way. Achra ben Yeruch Mechalak, the mitzvah Svidas Oymer, Svidas Ashavuus. Svidas Ayom, Svidas Shavuus. Which is a funny shit. The Kosov, he writes like this Svidas Ayom, Migam Achsho, Midiraisa. Counting the days is the Raisa. Svidas Ashavuus, Midirabon. We're counting the weeks is the Rabbon. So, Apinigle. Is one thing how he, the Rabbi Yeruchim came to that, but the Shail is up here. this. What does it mean? If you're telling me the Bismanaze, there is the mitzvah. It's not the mitzvah. He he decided no 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 that there is the mitzvah. It's this week's pasha. That's, that's by the way why I'm doing the Maim now. It's not just because it's Sfiras Oimer, but this week's pasha is the mitzvah Svartam Lachem and Machnas Shabbos. So he says, oh, the mitzvah of counting the days is even Bismana Golos. But the mitzvah of counting the weeks, that's only when the base of Mikdash is going to return. You hold like that, I'm more like Toysus, this or that. I mean, we, 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 the Pasuk only says one mitzvah. So do you hold that that mitzvah applies only in time of the base of Mikdash? You hold that mitzvah applies always. So what do you hold? So the answer is like this. The answer is like this. 
עניון ביר קלולוס המידה. סבירה סיום עניון ביר פה פרט שבכל מידה. לכן על עניין הסבירה סיום עניין ביר כל הפרוטים שבאו אליו בידי פרוטי מחשב דיבר מייסר איזה נגע בכל איסר בכל זמן ולכן תחי סבירה 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 גם בזמן הזה עומד אל איסר. משנה כי סבירה 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 ביר קלולוס המידה הרי זה עבוד נהלוס יוסר ואין על זה הכוח בזמן הזה שלא ניתנה לנו כוח אלא על מה ששייך לעבוד בפועל. The shadow is what we can expect a yid to do in Avodah Hashem when it's not the time of the Beis HaMikdash. So, if you want to go to the root of every Midah, the root of Chesed, and the root of Gvura, and the root, maybe you can't, you can't expect every yid to go into the root of his Chesed, and the root of his Gvura. But if you're going into the details, which is more the, sort of, the bottom line of the Midah, that you can expect every yid to purify even not as man based on Mikdash Kain. That's what Ibn Yeruchim says. The mitzvah l'mimnya yoim is midir rais. That's an absolute obligation. Every yid is expected to do that. To go and to comb through his chesed, shabbat chesed, and then go through all the details. But to go to the heart of the midir, the, not only the details of the midir, to go to the heart and soul of every midir, to remake it, and I told you you can't accept it. The Rabbana said, but but I told you you can't expect it. Obir in yiniskala samidus. There's a remarkable thing in the smaimer. This is very unusual in the Rebbe's maimorim that he should go. A lot of times you like, look said this. It's the general thing. I said, why can't you give me like go through one mida with all the and give me an example? Usually it doesn't happen, especially like in Tanya learning per chapter two or three. He gives you an example of uh, of uh, of the main midas, but he doesn't never. Never in Tanya you're going to find once that he goes through one Midah to go Chesed and explain what's the Chesed, Sheba Chesed, Gvura Sheba Chesed, Netzah Sheba Chesed, Tefere Sheba Chesed, Noi Sheba Chesed, and Yisoy Sheba Chesed. It just doesn't happen. The Rebbe is my one for sure not. And this is an interesting moment where the Rebbe goes through an example of one Midah, how it is in Nefesh Shabakis, and one Midah, how it is in Nefesh Shabahamis. Bidin Yeniskalo Lusa Midas. Ech kol Midah Sheba Nefesh Shabakis, Klulu Mezai Midas. An example of how every one of the mid every week, every week we pick one mida and to work on. So let's go through one mida. So Zokter Rebbe, Hini Yuvan Zal Derech Moshel Midas Chesed. Let's take an example Chesed. Why Chesed? Because the first one, She Klolu Mikolah Klolu Mikolah Midas. Let's look at how it has all the midas in it. The Indian Midas Chesed Atzma Hu Avas Hashem. In the Nefesh Elkis, what's Chesed? Chesed is love. What's the biggest love that an Hashemah has? The Ebeshter. He loves the Ebeshter. That's the general thing of Chesed. Now let's go through the details. Chesed, Sheba Chesed, who Masha Oyev, es Oyev Hashem. He sees a Yid doing a mitzvah. He sees another from a Yid. He just drives by Borough Park. He's driving by Crown Heights, Williamsburg, Flatbush. He sees Yid. Warms his heart because he loves the Eibushte, and these are Oyevei Hashem. So he he lo- he loves the Yidden that love the Eibushte. Hima she Oyevei es Oyevei Hashem she yish la Ava la Mi she Oisek b'lim and Atoyer v'Kima Mitzvah Biyir Shemayim v'Oid Zois she Mitzad Ava Hashem are Uzoris v'Kima Mitzvah Shaloi. And not only that, there's Ava Sheba Ava. It's not only they have Ava Hashem, but it's like Ava Sheba Ava. Because sometimes when the Ava is full of fire, that a person is, has everything he does is with an unbelievable chayas. That he does his mitzvahs anyway, because the, he loves the Eibushter. But the mitzvahs that he does is with an unbelievable cha, uh, fire. So that's Chesed Sheba Chesed. Vinyan Gvuri Sheba Chesed. Umash Mitzad Avos Hashem. Are you saying this Menag the Hashem? Partially he hates the Menag. The those are Menag to the Eibushter. He hates them. I'm not going into Perek Lamed Beis and Tanya. What really in every yid is really a good guy, not a bad guy. Okay. But we can all agree that uh, the guy who made the caricature in the New York Times with Netanyahu and the what's it called is a bad guy. Okay, because a, a person that Soina Yisrael is for sure Soina the Ebishte. That's no question. That that Rashi says that Ben Chomish Lamik has so many times. So that guy definitely hates the Yid. Yeah, with all these things, you know, with the, all the mamish, you know, like mamish, like the Nazis, Yimachshem, the same motives and the same. And the Yid with the big nose and the goy, and the goy has the the yamuke and the and then the black jacket, like a from like you know, like the like the from Yid, the, the mamish, and that that uh, you know. That, so 
that's a menaget to the Ebeshte. So a, a, a yid that has a healthy, Rachmon, it's not a yid that's not healthy, it's a taker. He doesn't get, uh, but, but, but a yid that is, has a Havas Hashem. So when a person is menaget to the Ebeshte, it, 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 it upsets him. So that's Gevur Hashem Chesed. Inyan Tiferet Hashem Chesed, or Kashem Espar, or Mesiapa Ma Chesed. The Kishroya Kates of Odom Lema Torah, Bislavus, Makai Mitzvah Bislavus, Hare Mispar al Yofish of Torah Mitzvahs. He goes into Beis Medish and he sees Yidna learning. Ah, he loves it. He sees the beauty in it. Because he loves the Abishter, so when he sees that Yid learns Torah with Achayas, he sees the beauty in it. Tiferet is beauty. So because he has Avas Hashem, he sees the beauty in all, all the Yidn that do Torah Mitzvahs. And he looks at this, he says, He says, look, look at this person. What could this person, this person could have been a schlepper in the street, or a ganav, or not stam a ganav, a gor, a klug a ganav, that could swindle people of a lot of money. And instead, he's a, such a fine human being, he's such a good person. And he looks at the beauty of what Torah could do to someone, so that's Tiferes Shebeches. That's the main three. Chesed, Gevur Tiferes are the main three. And then there is the, the offshoot, the Amphi Amidus, is Netzach Hod Yisoyed. The Netzach Sheba Chesed, who, Kasher, Metzad Avos El Hashem, Akshiyesh Le Moinu Ma'ak, Pemeri Loichem Yom Amenagdem. Netzach means he's going to fight back. He loves his family, he's going to protect his family. He loves the Eibishter, so he's going to fight back to those that are Loichem. And, and then what then comes to Hoyd? What's Hoyd? Hoyd is Kashegish, it's Nags and Bahuds, Vain, Lekrech, Liz Gaber, Kmaimer, Akos of Rabbim, Koma Malay, and Mitzada, Vosas Hashem, and Matech, and Satsma, and Hosa, and he is very cool, and he's in Hoyt Shem Chesed. The opposite of, in other words, that he's not going to let himself be tired in this war, and he's going to have the Indian of Hoyt to go out in this war. The Indian Yisoyt Shem Chesed, who, the Gamka Shem Ezatam, and the Meshech, and the Mitzvah. He's lazy today. He's not drawn to doing mitzvahs. He's not drawn to learn. He gets involved with his whole neshama. Like uh, that explains in Tanya that the whole union of Yisoid, the Lamashal Ain, there's a concept in the Talmud of Enki She'el Das. That it can't be, a person has to have Das in order for it to be Kishu. And the uh, same thing in the in Midas, the Al-Tareb explains in Tanya that, uh, for example, um, a person, a, a, a child, uh, you send your child to school. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. Kids never fa- failing. Then you take off a little, you take a little bit of time, and you try to spend time with a child. Not a lot of time. You, you put in an investment of maybe 20 hours. All of a sudden, you see Pile Ploim. Why is it teacher spending with the kid uh, in in a week double double the time that you spent with, and all of a sudden you spend twenty hours with the kid? You see it with Palmamish. Spend twenty hours a kid learning with the kid. Why well, the Al says because when you're learning with your child, besides learning with the child, you put yourself into it, and there's a lot of ava that's involved, and that's the uh, this ava is going through midas hayisoid. Yisoid is kashros, just like when a person. He loves his uh, his wife. So Mamela, the, the, the whole, the iskash is a very, it's, it's, it comes out, the divri av in a very deep way. When he's learning with his child, and he <coughs> wants to pick up the level of the child's learning, and he cares, and he, so Mamela, the, 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 the child has unbelievable atzloch. Same thing here. What does it mean, Yisoi Tshebe Chesed, that uh, a person has avas Hashem, so even, Today he's he's lethargic because he has such a he likes a he puts himself into and he connects himself just like the father who is connecting himself to his child now to learn with his child so here is yisoy chesed that he's putting his cheshek into doing mitzvahs malchus is simple malchus is always the vehicle. Malchus is always delivering. So his machshava, his dibur, his maisa, wherever he's communicating around them, is all filled with Torah mitzvahs. Why? Because it's Avos Hashem. Kshem shu be midas ha-chesed. Shu klulu mikol ha-midas kenu gam b'chol ha-midas. Shu kol midas klulu mikol ha-midas. 
Just like, the, as I said, it's an unusual thing in the Rebbe's Maimah, where he goes through one Midah, every part in the Nefesh Alekis, Chesed, what's Chesed, Shabbat Chesed, down to Malchus Shabbat Chesed. The Rebbe continues. Vine, ezel lo mazayos alakim. Kashem she nefesh alakis. Eri kol mida kol mazayim midas. Kenu nav nefesh abahamis. The same thing as the nefesh abahamis. The mamash, the same thing. She kol mida mazayim midas. Kol mekol midas. Turn the page. That every mida has all the seven midas in it. Kamoi be midas achesed aderech moshel. In a chesed shuba chesed. The mashah moshel darim gashmi malu de bitoy mitchuke gluya legashmis. Chesed shuba chesed means that not stam. He has an interest in gashmis. That is, his koch is constantly in Gashmis. Guru Shabbat Chesed. Shmetzad Avos of the Chikos Gashmir Musoin and Saman Agir Lazer. The Oimra of Loya Ech Matsam Lachli Shakul and Vinyon Bahamim. Someone gives a Musa, he says, Come on, Abid. The best Ibid the cup, you're best in Gashmis. Stop. Your, 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 your whole head is in Gashmis. How about a little spirituality? Ooh, gets really angry that someone's giving him such Musa. He doesn't like it. But if he shayna, if he. Malas Adam, I know so nice. He hates that person that's giving him Musa. Why? Because they so far kocht in his avatar elam haza. So that's the gevura when he gets criticized for it. It's a gevura shebe shebe chesed. That's the nefesh shebe hamis. The first shebe netza chumash shebe noisa of shul nimshechu. Ah? I'm sorry. The first shebe chesed. The mashat noisa of lazer shul nimshechu l'nyarim gashmim. The sides being drawn to gashmim. He ne oidzei shul mispar. He brags. About his gashmis, he tells the whole block that I have more gashmis than you, and I'm going to show you how much gashmis I have. <clears throat> um, misgah, and he's proud, um, mislav, and he kochts, explain how much gashmis he has to tell everyone around him that he has a lot of gashmis. <laughs> What's a netzach shubachesed? He gets tired from a little bit of gashmis. Like the Rebbe brings this word from the Velt. We say, achet, achet shechatonel fnecha b'yetzah hora. Which, which chet did you do with the yetzah toif? We say, somer, achet, and then we add it towards the end, al chet shechatonel fnecha b'yetzah hora. Every chet comes through the yetzah hora. There's no chet that comes without the yetzah hora. So the answer is, the Veldzok, that sometimes a person is not so interested in a chet. But he's mamshech on himself to get himself excited about about the chait. It's the same thing here by Gashmias. <coughs> Shanish doesn't interest it, but he's so stooped in Gashmias that he pulls himself into it. And he gets himself a chukka for it. He 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 tries to have a chukka to have in Gashmias. As a child I that was as I had to, like unbelievable impression because we were in camp. There was a lake, and we were boating, and there was a guy, he was the lifeguard. And he was in the middle, and he was in the middle of the lake, he was swimming. So, yeah, yeah oh. unbelievable. <laughs> so, uh, so he, so, 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 he, so uh, we said hi to him, or whatever, and he said, he said that, uh, that, uh, that there was an old lady, oh, Basha, she was a cook, and uh, so she, so, so he said, Basha's making a really good lunch today. So he wants to work up an appetite. <laughs> so he mainly he's swimming a hidden in the in the mm -hmm. lake. As kids, we were like, "Wow, it's like a, this, this a goy. It's a goy. You're hungry, you eat, you know." But he's trying to swim in order to eat. Isn't that the other way around? After we eat, we realize we got an extra couple of pounds. We go swimming to lose the couple of pounds. But the goy he swims in order to eat. The oid zois. So that's like netzach, netzach shebechesed for oitzos. The gam kishiyesh loy menagdim ibachutz. That another thing is that he has menagdim. I'm a vayshim of azim oitzoy. Vayim ruu keitzad Yehudi ben Avram mitzvah Yaakov shakua ben Yonah b'Hamim. Look at this ayitzah. This ayitzah pass for ayitzah be like a behema. Vayoid yosef ben Yonah masurim. And people are criticizing him that he's doing things that are wrong. How do loychem? She's a loyal valvulus taivosa. She's a new hoit shebechesed of the nefesh shebahamis. When you insert shebechesed, is is kashes bataiva the connection to taiva. Achigama chshove di bramaisa minyanim chumrim, which is malchus shebechesed. Achayelach medach yedachu ubo lechalvar masurim, which is malchus shebechesed. She's a nefesh shebahamis. V'zeu inyan avoid the sfirasaimen. 
wants to avoid the Sfiris Aimer to purify the said the all the Midas Nefshah Bahamas, not only that they shouldn't disturb the Nefshah Lakis, but they should give a boost to the Nefshah Lakis. Bir ko prata Midas Nefshah Bahamas, and they prata Midas Nefshah Lakis, that's a bir by Fish, Milas and Midas Nefshah Bahamas, Lamaila Maila, Chemuchel Mam Toyda. And the ultimate thing is to be prepared to Mam Toyda, shows the Gilu Atmos, which is a Noiche Shemalakacho. Which is an acronym, I know Nafshik Sovas Yehovis, that I gave myself into the Torah. The Zoyanian Svidis Oimer, what was Spartan, Blosh Svidis of the so we have to polish our Neshama. Shapoel Bukhal Prote, Amidus Nefesh Bahamishim, Kolam Emtas Yom. We have to take all the 49 <coughs> parts of our Nefesh Bahamis and purify them. She Yom of Meidim, Brurim, Mezuchachim, Koyach Lashpiel, Kol Prote, Amidus Nefesh Bahamis, Yadem Shachish, Beis Mount Toyo, Yitzis Mitzrayim. In order to give us the koyach for this avoda, every yid experiences the first night of Pesach where he eats the matzah, which is chita, and the second night he can start with the avoda of soyim. What happens the first night of Pesach? That the gilu atzmo sumus kemaim abala agoda. We say the first night of Pesach in the agoda. The Eibush says ani v'loy malach ani v'loy sorat ani v'loy shliach shagilu matzmo sis bar. The Eibush himself reveals himself to give a yid the koyach to do his avoda sashem. Kemavur b'makam achdim. But as the Arizal said, the mitzat shohoyu shkuim oz lamata kol kach v'mem tesharitum arei im hoya gilu meizah b'chinas shi gama madrega gavoy beyosef roizu b'lvat shaloyu goyel ala adrab. If they sent an angel, not only the angel wouldn't pick them up, the angel would be dragged down. Wow. Now we understand. And the Tzdukim and the Baisusim asked, if really we have to count the second day Pesach, why does the Torah say, Why does the Torah say, Why does the Torah say, Pesach? Because the, the because the Indian is that even doesn't matter this year it's perfect that it's really a mocher a Shabbos we start counting Motzah Shabbos but every year it's always the koyach is higher than Shabbos kinyan mocher is as anivalo malach anivalo yisorim kinyan mocher is a Shabbos moed abchinus nayim lazu this big thing of anivalo malach gilu yatzmos the Ebrish himself the close say the shtal shulus magbola all the shtal shulus certain limitation gidre asman kdi meichur lemay lemot lemot kavur b'makamacher say the asman kamar mazal malamet shay say the asman and kaidem lachem even before the Ebrish created the world there was some type of thing that say the asman even though it's not like what we know time but there was some concept ach b'shvil biru kol say the shtal shulus moy mekrem medremik in order to purify to the lowest level, at prote amidas nefesh ma'amis, so rechlis agilu mepchinas shelamayla misay the shtal shulus lamayla mishlemas asman something that's higher than time that will purify to the depth of time and space. Vezo in yemim mochiras the Shabbos higher than Shabbos. The Shabbos of tachlis elu shem gidrei asman. Shabbos is the highest thing within time. The mitchila boim sheishes semeachur lamayla mehem uyeim Shabbos shem kudosh mukal asmanim the holiest within time. So in order to divide the street assignment, we need something which is higher than that. Mimochir is a Shabbos, higher than Shabbos. Kamashkotsu kashesh hashem emashu Shabbos ve'enofesh afal b'kin eregam Shabbos u'begeder zman. Still Shabbos is still the highest within zman. Elishu zman de kedusha. V'lachena gilu madrege zushu hashlem is the state of shtalshlus. Dair lafki es atzma. He can help himself, but not to the depth of the klipa. L'halas the state of shtalshlus of loy levar es a oimek tachas. Which is prote amidas nefesh b'hamas afichas ashtuz de lomaza v'koyach al svartem lachem bir ashtuz de lomaza in order to have the koyach to do svartem lachem to purify the lomaza mimochir es shabbos higher than shabbos hein apchinas shalomaylam apchinas shabbos atzmos ahusis mor shalomaylam esteid the shtal shulos the gamer shem shibitzis mitzrayim a pamer ishayin a koyach lamaydud the bir nefesh b'hamas agila atzmos shibitzis mitzrayim just like it happened the first time there was a nivelay malach in order to give the yid the koyach to go out of mitzrayim a mashcheni and after Towards Acherech and Arutz, Al Derech Zav Avoid the Sfiras Omer, Shem Mitzvah the Sfiras Omer Ladoidus for all generations. Ksiv it says in this week's parsha, Usvaratim Lachem Mimocheres Hashabbos, that the Sfira has to be Mimocheres Hashabbos. That Shakoyach Lazer, who Mepchinas Mimocheres Hashabbos, that the Koyach, the Koyach for this Avoid every year that there's a big Gilu the first night of Pesach. Oh. Anivalay Malach, and that gives us that's called Mimochir as a Shabbos. After this big Gilui, Al Yedei Avoid the Shabbat the Koyach Zeh, Magim Al Gilu the Man Torah. Through this was Zeh the Man Torah. Biyana Amelach Adorim Gilu Atzmos Ein Tzoyf Anok Nafshik Savas Yehovas. To summarize the Maimer, so the Ksu the Baisusim asked if it's true 
that the tradition that you have to start counting the second day Pesach, and why does the Torah say B'mokras HaShav is not B'mokras HaPesach? So the answer is because the Torah says the Emes, not the, not, not, the Torah is not talking for the Tztukim and the Baisosim. And Mokras HaShav, everything in Torah has an Oymek, and a, the Oymek is that, uh, that uh, Shabbos is the highest time in Kedusha. I mean, Mokras HaShavos is higher than that, which is the idea of, of, of Aniva Loi Malach, Aniva Loi Sorif. The first night of Pesach, every year, the Ebesh gives the Gilui to a Yid of Aniva Loi Malach. And that, with that Koyach of Mimochiras HaShabbos, higher than Shabbos, that Kedusha, which is even higher than Shabbos, higher than time, the Ebesh himself, that gives the Yid the Koyach to go for the 49 days to do first the Korban of Oymer and then Svidas Oymer, which is to purify the 49 Chalokim of the Nefesh of Bahamas. And with this we're zoiche, that not only the, that, the, that, the, that, the, that the Nefesh Lekis itself benefits, as we said before, that Nerutza, that that adds a Merutza, that the Pshat Nigmar is not only that we, that the Yitzhah is not disturbing animal Nefesh Lekis, but the Yitzhah adds to the Yitzhah Nefesh Lekis. And with this Koyach we're zoiche, to have the Matan Torah. Maybe she'll help him, we should be all Matzliach, in our Avodah Hashem, and the Frat tonight is uh, the, the, today is a special. Yeah, uh, this year is a special kviyus, and tonight is a special night because it's Shmuel Aksiyom Oladis. Chaim, you should have a shnat at slocho brocha, and we should all learn from you. I give a brocha to everybody. You should have a holy Rabbanu Chaim.